What are you doing? Down the blue. Four? Good morning guys on this very beautiful day. What day is it? It is Juna's birthday. Juna is turning 13 today. So that's the biggest news of the day. Juna, my second daughter, is turning 13 years old. <laughs> that's my daughter Juna. Jessa, of course. Always so cheerful. So today will be a short video because I am I need to prepare everything for the birthday. This is just the beginning, the decoration and all the stuff. So I will walk to my office for 10 to 15 minutes. Welcome to my office. And in on my office, I'm going to talk about the news this morning. And then I'm going to drive with my scooter very fast to get some fresh bread for my daughter. And she wants a croissant. One of the things I read today in the news was really cool. What if Jeff Bezos, you know Jeff Bezos, yeah, the, the rich, the rich guy. Um, what if he would buy all the bitcoins around? He could. Um, his, I think he has in total about 140 billion dollar. That would mean he needs 130 billion, only 130 billion, to buy the complete bitcoin market cap. And then he still has 10 billion dollar left to live. Hmm, could I live with 10 billion dollar the rest of my life? I think I could, Jeff. Jeff, if I were you, man, try to buy up all the bitcoins so that the bitcoin price slowly will go up. I will keep holding my few bitcoins that I can just lift this beautiful bull run with you. <laughs> you still have 10 billion left. And the, the money I have, I will start to share again the profit I make with some poor people and all the people around me, so I get happy as well. So that's uh, really cool that there are people this rich, this rich, they could buy up all the Bitcoin market cap, 130 billion, and still have 10 billion left to live. I need to look down now and then because I'm walking on the beach and here and there there are some shells and I don't want to cut my feet, of course. And then there was this interesting news, um, Teeter. I think it was yesterday, Teeter burned about 220 million dollar. And the strange thing what always happens when Teeter burns is that Bitcoin crashes, like in the weeks after. The last time Teeter burned a lot of their Teeters was in, I think the 20th of February or something. And then we had this huge crash. And last year there was a teeter burning as well when we had the crash. There were like 30-40% crashes every time. So that would mean if the teeter burn now again predicts a crash, that we would crash all the way down to about, if it's a comparable crash to the other ones, we would crash all the way down to $2,800. $2,800. Now, I don't think that it's an indicator <clears throat> that every time that teeter crashes, this happens, but you know, you never know. So keep watching the market because the last two times teeter burned a lot of their teeters, there was a Bitcoin crash. So maybe it could happen again now. Okay, then there is another thing in the news. Uh, you know, last, uh, last week I posted this video about could blockchain become the evil software to create this evil, evil tracking software for humanity? I had to track us down all. Could blockchain be the, the, the solution for this? And yes, again, I read today, <laughs> there's this blockchain company. I think this one was called uh, Orbs or something. Yeah, it was Orbs. They created an app that gamifies the stay at home thing. So <laughs> a lot of people probably want to stay at home all the time. And now they, they created this app that stimulates you to stay at home. So the world has gone this crazy that there is a company spending all its assets 
and people in creating an app to support people staying at home. I just don't understand this. I hope blockchain will change the world for the positive, but there's a huge chance blockchain will also change the world for the negative, like we can see, because why would you create an app that will stimulate the people to stay at home if this is probably just a one-time event? If this virus is a one-time event that is never going to happen again because it was a pandemic and it was huge, which I really don't believe because if I compare the numbers to the other flus in 2016-17, it was not that huge. It was the same. And the curve is also going down now like it did in those years. But why would you create this app? I just don't understand why you would like to make something that stimulates people to stay at home. Oh my God. Fresh air, sun, vitamin D, C, and all that stuff out there, that is what makes you healthy, strengthens your immune system. Not staying at home in your room watching Netflix. But that's my humble opinion as a stupid world traveler that has no doctoral degree and doesn't know nothing about science. But you know, just like to share my opinion about why, you, why people would, would even spend time in building this thing so not no go for me sorry and um, <clears throat> there was some more news stable coins this year the growth of on-chain of on-chain usage was grew with like 800 percent so all the stable coins together the usage uh, the on-chain usage grew with like 800 percent this year this is a good indicator that a lot of people are hedging into stable coins and stable coins are being used more and more you can read everywhere that governments are now uh, having a lot of interest in creating their own stable coin you know as long as stable coins are connected to our like favorite cryptos like bitcoin or litecoin or bitcoin cash or whatever currency you prefer as long the stable coins are patched to those for me everything is fine because that's an easy way for me to hatch my bitcoins into a stable currency without using the banking system. So that's, uh, for me, it's a good good sign that the stable coins are getting more popular. Um, if you're talking about stable coins, I used to use a lot of Tether. Um, the last time I'm using DAI more and more because I think DAI is a really decentralized stable coin. I think 88% of all the activities of DAI like 88% uh, on-chain activities of DAI happen um, in a decentralized finest um, system. So like if I, if you want to use a decentralized stable coin, I think DAI is the most decentralized out there at the moment. If I'm wrong, correct me. Please leave a comment below and tell me which stable coin you prefer and why you're using this stable coin and uh, maybe if it's even more decentralized as DAI. You know, I, I use them all, but uh, you know, I, I tend to use more and more things that are decentralized, like social media, like stable currencies, like Bitcoin, like all that stuff. The rest, there was not that much news today. As I said, I promised I will keep it short because I want to celebrate my daughter's birthday, Juna, and I have an interview in like 20 minutes. I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you enjoy the news. I hope Jeff Bezos is not going to buy all the Bitcoins because then there is no Bitcoins left for the people that really need Bitcoin and that is really serious. <clears throat> so, um, but Jeff, it's just cool to see <laughs> that you can, <laughs> you know, you can. You could also use this money to support more and more uh, uh, NGOs, but I know you already are doing this, so uh, thumbs up for Jeff for helping all those people all over the world and not creating one kind of evil vaccine to vaccinate all the world. Please, blockchain people, start not, stop creating all that stuff to track us and start creating stuff that will decentralize the world and make us free from central governments and all that stuff because I think that is the goal of blockchain and that is the thing I think you should be focusing on. Uh, my daughter is turning 
13 years and if I look back 13 years ago what I was doing how I was living my life was completely different 13 years ago I had a huge house I had a few cars I had a motorbike the kids owned everything they had I had two companies I was working day in day out I wasn't even there on the birthday all day because I was just too busy with accumulating wealth a lot of things changed in the last 13 years I'm very happy I made those changes I think you out there can also make these changes and live a more simple life I hope this is what COVID is bringing us I hope COVID is waking us all up that accumulating wealth shouldn't be the goal in life that's living life that's the small things in life that's being together with your family uh, all these things so that is what I needed to say about Juna's birthday because wow 13 years ago man if you see if you were if you look back 13 years ago on my Facebook you will see a different Didi a total different Didi but then again happy that I changed life now I'm going to do the interview and celebrate the beautiful birthday with Juna I will maybe add some videos of the decoration uh, I will not be able to add videos of the birthday today maybe in the t tomorrow's video because I just want to give the videos every morning to you guys so you wake up with a cup of coffee and see the new news and um, hopefully in the future I can create some more funny content as well because I don't want to be serious all the time and I watched my last videos a few times and I think I'm talking a lot of news and serious stuff and life I just would love to create some funny content like humorous content as well so I'm going to try to focus on this a little bit more while I'm sweating my ass off for you guys here on the beach in Kopangan, lockdown 2020. Thanks for watching. Have a very beautiful day and make the best of life. Like I always say, live life to the fullest 24 seven day in, day out and your life will become a little bit more beautiful every time you do this. Okay, let's see how far the family is with the decorations. Wow, 13.50 minutes, that's like a new record, I kept it short. Happy birthday, Juna! And happy birthday, Juna. Thank you for watching the video. Please share the video, please like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscription bell somewhere. I really don't know where it is, uh, but hit it so you will be notified of every new video I have. <laughs>